Hello everyone, it's PC Alba here and in today's video I'll be talking about what I believe is the best game booster for all computers from low-end PCs to high-end. And I'm sure once you will try it then you will feel the same too. So today we'll be talking about Smart Game Booster. All you have to do is just stick till the end of this video and follow everything as shown and you will definitely see a significant difference in your PC's gaming performance. So just before starting, subscribe to my channel right now for regular gaming updates. So to download it, just click on the link in the description of this video and you will be redirected to this page from where you can buy this software. But if you want to download the free version, just click on this logo right here and you will be redirected to this screen and from here you can download the free version of this software. But first let's talk about the paid version as it is the better one. So here as you can see, if you want to buy it for one year and three PCs, you will get 81% off and you can only get it for $23. But if you want it for one year and for only one PC, you can get it only for $15. And I think it is really fair price for a professional software for a one year subscription. So if you want to buy it, you can buy it from here. It is a really simple process. But if you want to download the free version, you can just click on this logo here and you will be redirected to this page. And here you have to click on free download. Once you will click on it, you will be redirected to this page. Here click on free download and your downloading will be started. And once it has been downloaded, now I'll show you how to install it. So as you all can see, I'm in my downloads folder and Smart Game Booster setup has been downloaded. So just double click on it and soon this screen will pop up. Here you have to select the download location and click on install and your installation will be started. It will be a really quick process. So when it has, once it has been installed, I'll show you how to do advanced setup of this Game Booster for gamers only. So it has been installed now and I'll open it with the help of its desktop shortcut. Now we can see four sections here. First is the boost tab. Second is the matrix tab where you can see while gaming the temperature of your CPU, GPU and motherboard. You can also see at what rate your CPU fan is rotating. In driver section you can update all the drivers of your PC in one single click. And last is the utilities section and we'll talk about it later in detail. Now let's start with the boost section first. So first let's see how to add a game here. So click on this add option. And here click on browse and once you click on browse you have to search for your games directory so i'll add the game valorant so i am in my riot games folder in shooter game folder in binaries and in binaries in win64 here is my .exe file i'll just select it and click on ok so this game already exists it means my game booster automatically identified the game and added it here automatically so now what you have to do is before boosting it you have to configure it so just click on configure so you will have two options here. First one is level 1, which will basically overclock hardware to increase FPS moderately. Second one is level 2, which is only for pro version and which is totally worth it, which will ultimately overclock your hardware to maximize FPS. So now you have to select everything that is not required while gaming. So first of all, select wtfast.exe if you have installed it and then Windows internal composable shell. Scroll down and select start menu experience host, search ui.exe and runtime broker. And I've also selected igfxem.exe. Now in Windows Services, select everything except Bluetooth Support Service, Connected User Experiences and Telemetry, Human Interface Device Services, Internet Connection Sharing (ICS). So once you have selected everything except it, then move to Non-Windows Services and here I have selected all the Adobe services first of all because I don't need any of the Adobe services while gaming. Now scroll down and I have selected Kite Service if you have installed it, select it. After it, QM Emulator Service, AZKL Service and team viewer and if you find any other software which is not required while gaming just select it in others also i've selected clear clipboard enable game power solutions and launch game on gaming desktop so you can either select it or not so if you select it it will provide maximum processing power for game playing but i'm not selecting it right now because i'm also using my screen recorder which won't work if i turn it on so once you have selected all these things apply these settings and now we'll move to drivers so here you can update all your drivers in just one click by clicking on update all or you can just select one by one. So I'll update my Realtek high definition audio driver. Click on update. It will give a warning that it may take a while to update drivers. You may encounter temporary black screens and when you update graphic drivers, please save and exit the game first and do not operate the computer during the updating. I get it and it will start downloading as you can see. Now let's move to utilities. It is a really important part as it will help you in improving your PC's overall performance. So first of all PC Diagnosis, click on Launch and click on Analyze. It will analyze all the problems in your PC and give you the diagnosis. So it might take some time. So just wait for it to complete. You can leave your PC as it is and I am closing it right now because it might take some time. So once you have done the PC Diagnosis, then move to System Tweaks, click on Launch 
and I recommend selecting everything here because everything here is important and click on optimize now. So it will really help in improving your PC's overall performance and it will optimize your PC. As you can see optimize successfully, please reboot your computer for the changes to take effect. Do you want to restart now? So I will click on no right now because I am making the video right now but you should restart your PC as soon as it's completed. Now this defrag, I consider this step to be the most important one again in this utility section. So it only comes with the pro version so click on launch if you are a pro user and select the drive in which your game is selected but I recommend selecting all the drives. But right now I am only defragmenting my D drive in which my game Valorant is installed because I play that game the most. Now click on defrag now, it will take some time to defrag it so wait for it to be completed but once it's completed restart your PC and you will definitely see a boost in your PC's performance. So now you just have to click on boost on your screen and your PC will be boosted. It won't take much time but it might take some time depending on your PC. So once your PC has been boosted you just have to minimize the game booster and run the game whichever you want to run. So I run the game Valorant in background so as you can see it will soon open and here is my game Valorant and I am sure that your PC's performance will be boosted and your game will have increased FPS and the lag will be also reduced. So that's it for this tutorial and definitely if you are a gamer I'll recommend the pro version as it is not at all expensive and you will get up to 80% discount on MRP if you use the link in the description of this video. And it is definitely worth it especially for low end to medium end PCs. But for some reason if you still cannot afford it then the free version will also be really helpful in improving your PCs overall gaming performance. So this software will not only help in boosting your PC's gaming performance but it will improve its overall performance even if you are not gaming. So that's it for the advanced setup of Smart Game Booster. I hope you like this software and if you liked my video then please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you and have a nice day.